Hello guys and welcome back to Welcome back to the Let's Play the Goddamn Batman. Anyway, first things first. Riddler challenges. We have one in here, which is, are you going to take your hat off to Harley Bats? Are you going to take your And, well, the way we get it is by taking an image of that, the classic Harley Quinn hat. But we can't get it right yet. So we're going to have to leave it for later. Because we got to drop through, we have to get another piece of equipment so we can take that grade off, which we're not going to get for a while yet. So, first things first. Someone said Doctor Crane. To me, that means Scarecrow. Hmm. And I see some tobacco. Perhaps it's Gordon's again. Seems like he's the only person who smokes a pipe or smokes at all or chews tobacco around here, even among all the inmates. So. <laughs> Gotham must be a pretty healthy city if nobody else smokes. So we're going to find Dr. Crane, a.k.a. Scarecrow, and, well, I'll talk, to, I'll talk about him more once we actually get to him, because I have some things to say, much like I had some things to say about Harley Quinn. Again, we'll get there. All right. Oh no, Gordon! We'll help you with the goddamn Batman, we can do that! Oh, I zoomed in with the camera. Alright, there we go. Great, let's go. Come on, I'm not afraid, afraid of any Dutch camera angles like that. I don't care how Dutch these camera angles are, they're not gonna get to me. I'm the goddamn Batman, I ain't afraid of camera angles. I ain't afraid to kick out this grate. I ain't afraid to go check out Officer Gordon. Ev are you okay? What? Oh God! I'm sorry, Jim. And Batman's the devil with those red eyes. <laughs> Barbara, I, I'm sorry. I was too late. I'm sorry. Barbara, are you there? Please hang up your phone. Hmm. Oh god, bugs. Well, it's just a few. We can tiptoe around them. That's okay with me. Tiptoe around some cockroaches. Oh god. Now this would be my worst nightmare. Ugh. Having to traipse through a field of bugs so thick that they make up the floor. Cause my worst nightmare is just having creepy crawlies all over me. So this part is a little bit like it's not terrifying because I'm not there obviously but if I was Batman it would be terrifying. Oh lovely a morgue. Well let's just treat the dead with respect and vault right over. Batman's eyes always kind of weirded me out in this scene. Oh god. The freezers, they're talking to us. We better listen to them. Get out. Get out while you sit while you still can, bats. Oh god. Sorry freezers who are oddly talking to me. I can't get out. I don't want to deal with dead bodies. Let's try again. No! Uh-oh. Well, looks like we're trapped with three dead bodies. Oh my god, they're not- they're not dead.
Booga booga booga. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about this scene. Like, it's not really that scary because, I mean, it's Batman. But at the same time, it's just kind of freaky the first time you open that bag and it's Scarecrow and he's like, oh, rah, 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 rah. So anyway, as you can see, we're fighting our worst fears of the toilet. Oh my god! What are what is Batman? A goldfish? Thinks he's gonna be sucked down the toilet? <laughs> this scene is kinda cool looking, so. So we have here a little boss fight, like it's not. It's not the last time we're going to be seeing Scarecrow. This isn't the final bo boss fight or anything. Uh, my controller is low. That's odd. Um, I charged it just a while ago. First things first, I believe we have a character bio for Scarecrow. Uh, that's Killer Croc. That's Aaron Cash. Do we have a Scarecrow? No, we don't. All right. So anyway, Scarecrow is Dr. Uh, I don't remember his name, <laughs> which is sad because he's one of my favorite Batman villains. Not in this though, because as far as we can tell, he does have that costume on the entire time, which he's always supposed to be kind of a slight person. And I get like they're going for a Scarecrow type of aesthete with his costume. But it doesn't look good. I much prepare I, I much prefer like the burlap bag over his head in like the Dark Knight or the Fairy or the or Batman begins, I think it is. Like the one thing I do like about this is the gas mask. It makes sense because his thing is doing the fear inducing the fear inducing gas. Oh, we had the wrong thing equipped. And that's what the needles on his hands are. Um because he injects the people with fear-inducing gas, which are their worst nightmares, and we got caught. Which means we have to start over again, I believe. Hide from Scarecrow's gaze to avoid being caught. Yeah. Yeah, we failed. Because <laughs> I forgot how to use the... I was so scared, I forgot how to use the, the, the gas. No, I much prefer the, like, really simple design of him with just a burlap bag on his face. Because, I mean, he, he's a doctor. Uh, Dr. Crane, that's what his name was. God, how did I forget that? I mean, Ichabod Crane, that's what, like, he was made fun of for being, like, Ichabod Crane because of how skinny and tall he is. So he doesn't really appear like a tall character in this. Like, he's average height. I don't know, it's just, he's halfway to a really good Scarecrow, which would have been really nice, because I don't think he's ever been in a Batman video game. And honestly, he is a really cool Batman character, I really think so, and I think... I don't know, these boss fights are going to be very similar, and I'm dumb, I should have waited. We're gonna fight him a few more times. <sighs> I'll wait. <laughs> really bad at this game. I never said I was good. Alright. Rush, rush, rush. We got hedoniosis. That's the problem. Hey! Hide away. There we go. Alright, maybe we'll do it this time. So what you're supposed to do is wait for him to look, and then he's gonna look on the other side of the pillar and be like, what's that? Oh, there's nothing here. Maybe it's on the other side. But... Oh, come on! We were right in the shadow. God damn it. <laughs> One minute, guys. I'll get this. I'll get this. I can't believe I'm doing this badly on the Scarecrow fight. He's the easiest boss in this game. Which, again, is a, a little disappointing. Like... 
but we see him multiple times too, so it's not as disappointing. Alright, now get up that. That's the other thing I was having an issue with, because he wasn't getting up the frickin' foot tall, foot high wall. Jeez, I can't even talk right now. Alright, so blow it. He's gonna be like, what's over here? He's gonna look. He's gonna look on the other side and be like, maybe the Batman's over here. And be like, oh, no, he's not there. Maybe he's over here. Then he's just gonna start his thing over again. So the thing is, we gotta hit him with this light. The bat symbol. It makes sense, because, I mean, how are you going to have a nightmare boss fight? You're gonna have... The nightmare being Batman kind of being powerless and Batman trying to use the the, the bat symbol, the on? bat signal. It kind of makes sense, you know, okay. but it's kind of a sure letdown right? for the Scarecrow because again, he's I'm he's fine. next to the Riddler and down. I guess after the Joker as well. Back. Scarecrow's the my favorite villain from Batman, so. Anyway, we're gonna look at this too. This is a Joker Riddler or Riddler challenge. Unlock the Great White Shark. I should have actually said what the Riddler challenge was. Anyway, this guy was uh, a criminal who pleaded insanity, and he was driven insane by other inmates in Arkham Asylum. He was also disfigured by an encounter with Mister Freeze, also a very favorite villain from Batman because Arnold <laughs> uh, that left him without hair, a nose, ears, or lips. And then he called himself the Great White Shark, filled it, filed his teeth into fangs to more perfectly resemble his new namesake and putting his financial skills to use. He became a major player in Gotham's underground crime scene, running a number of rackets from his cell in Arkham. I like those villains too because they're just petty thugs who look different. I don't know, it's interesting. I really like this costume, too, for the Scarecrow. Like, that would have been much cooler for him to look like this rather than kind of dumb like he does in this game. I don't like... Here, I'll read out his story, because I don't know how well you guys can read this. Taunted and bullied as a youth, Jonathan Crane vowed to overcome his fears through the study of psychology and biochemistry. Kicked out of his university for experimenting on human subjects, Crane then adopted the identity of Scarecrow and armed himself with a specialized fear-inducing gas that makes a person deep, person's deepest phobias become frighteningly real. His ongoing criminal reign of terror makes him one of the Batman's most psychologically dangerous foes. Like, that's the thing. The scene leading up to the fight with Scarecrow is pretty good. Like, it is kind of creepy, but it's the scene where you fight the Scarecrow that just becomes kind of sad. Anyway, let's find out what happened to Gordon. That was just more of the Scarecrow's tricks. It wasn't Gordon. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. Oh, God. What else could we be wrong about? Whoa. Another locked door. Actually, I'm going to hide behind this wall because people are going to break through in just a second to come after me. Or maybe not. Maybe we actually... Maybe we ha have to be able to get around that... That freaking pillar. Maybe we actually have to... Yep, yeah, okay. Never mind. There we go. Maybe we do actually have to be in the corridor, I was going to say, but yeah, it kind of beat me to it. Unfortunately, it's much easier to take out these guys if you do a stun attack on the ground, but I always forget to. Come on, stun attack! Because you can't even punch these guys if you don't stun attack them first. It's annoying as hell. All right. Okay, so, uh, we cannot go this way, I don't believe. I believe this door is locked. We'll see in a second. In just a second. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this door is locked. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, because we're going to be coming back here later. Um, so I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play the Back of the
Let's play the goddamn Batman. <laughs> Just started being sort of a word vomit. And, oh, we'll find out what that one last puzzle is before we can get Commissioner Gordon back. Next time with me, Oaksville. Take it easy, guys.